What is going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a quick update video um, addressing the, the problem I had with my micro shift advent 1x9 conversion on the Trek Fuel 90. I touched base on this the last video that the rear cassette was not going to work and I was going to have to replace it. Well, got the parts, we're going to replace it. So here we go. Got the wheel, just took it off the bike. I figured there's not much point in uh, starting this video with it on the bike still. So all we have to do is I pulled my quick release skewer out. It's super simple. We just need to grab our tool and literally pop this off. So what you're going to need is you're going to need your chain whip and your cassette removal tool. Cassette removal tool, chain whip, and of course the wrench for the cassette removal tool. Just like that, we got it off. So, super simple now. All you do is you pull your cassette off and replace it with the new one. Line up the splines, bada bing, bada boom. That's how she goes. With that being said, here's the cassette I got. Um, I'm gonna be completely honest, this is an Amazon cassette. I figured that the micro shift was like $5 more, um, but I was gonna wait a month to get it, or I could get an Amazon one. This one had 80 some reviews with a 4.5 out of 5 star rating and it was roughly $40 Canadian so I figured that this would be worthwhile to try because you're not really out much money and with how much I abused my Marlin which is a 7 speed and that being a cheaper cassette and all that I figured that if that can take the abuse this should take it but we'll see if I eat my words or not. Ooh, buddy. So if you remember last time when I did that original video, this was filthy. I cleaned out all the gunk, but now nice and clean. And I still got grease left over on that, so we can just go ahead and slide this right over top. Just like that. Okay, just like that, got the lock ring on. I just reused the Shimano uh, HD lock ring instead of using the one that came with this. Um, but yeah, so all you have left to do now, once you got that, is you're supposed to torque it. I don't have a torque wrench, so I'm gonna use it uh, the good old. I think this is the right method, do it that way. And then I'll throw this on the bike, and let's retune it, see how she looks. Just like that, wheel back on the bike, chain on. I was really surprised, um, but I guess it makes sense. When I threw the chain on, I thought on the largest cog, I would have had to get a new chain. I thought this one would have been too short, but when I had it on the largest cog on the old cassette, the rail was like that, now it's like this, so. Should be good, but uh, I actually ran her through the gearing here and she seems to work pretty good. I think I'll have to fine tune the uh, shortest gear here, so the, the highest speed one, a little bit more on the derailleur, but everything seems to be lining up good. It's not wanting to drop off the, the, uh, the lowest gear when I push it all the way, and that's even with pushing my hand against the derailleur trying to get it to pop off, so that's good, that's a bonus. Anyways, so that was our quick little update video on doing something I should have ordered when I first ordered everything for this bike. But like I said in the last video, I just need to quit being a cheap man tonight. <laughs> like, honestly, I just need to quit being cheap and just order things. But can't really say that because I still went cheap. I ordered Amazon special. But it shifts up and down the gears great. Um, true test me once the snow melts and take it out for a ride, see what it actually does. But yeah, thing works great. Now we got an 11 to 42 tooth. Uh, cassette on there which should give me lots of range should be awesome but anyways 
Hope you guys enjoyed the content that was missing out from the last video in this quick update. Thanks for watching and have a great day.